booty. What's up? I'm Trent Windsor. We're here in search of the perfect shuffle. It's time for another segment of Clearing Out the Archives, where I shuffle my music and whichever album pops up, that is the album I review song by song. If a song is more than 50% skippable, if I would skip it more than half the time, then I say get rid of it, not worth your time. If a song is less than 50% skippable, if I would skip it less than half the time, then I say it's a worthy addition for your perfect shuffle. Last time we shuffled our music and the album that popped up was Beware the Book of Eli by Ski Mask the Slump God. Ski Mask is one of the quintessential SoundCloud rap success stories. He started out rapping with XXX Tentacion, and he really took off with his hit Catch Me Outside. Following his third mixtape, Beware the Book of Eli, he was named a member of the 2018 XXL freshman class. So what kind of mixtape gets you into the XXL freshman class? Let's find out as I review this one song by song. Song number one is called Lost Souls and it features Rich the Kid. Here we get a dark, spooky, haunted house type beat and we're going to get that on a lot of the songs on this album. It's all very eerie, very spooky. I really enjoy the beat on this song though, I think it goes pretty hard and really sets the tone for the song. He has very immature lyrics on this song, he talks about Skyrim, he talks about anime, etc. Boy, it's talking about anime. That's stuff for babies, boy. Anime? It's all part of Ski's persona. He doesn't take himself too seriously and isn't afraid to get kind of goofy with his lyrics. Here we get a little taste of Ski Mask's distinct flow and his distinct voice. Unfortunately, in this song, it's not his best verse. Even with Ski not being at his best though, Rich the Kid still struggles to keep up. So you can tell that he's skilled, he just doesn't put it all out there in this song. I do enjoy the vibe, I enjoy the beat, and while his verses aren't amazing, they're still fun, I'd say this song is 40% skippable. Song number two is called Run. We've got another eerie beat on this one. And here, Ski goes in. He doesn't hold anything back. He has these quick, unexpected flows, definitely anything but generic. He has some very clever, albeit immature, punchlines. My favorite is when he says, hide and seek where your hairline going. <laughs> That's one of those rare insults to insult someone's hairline. This song is a prime example of what I love about Ski Max the Slump God. He's got a unique style, which is skillful, fun. I would say this song is 25% skippable. Song number three is called Throwaway, featuring Ronnie J. Yet another dark beat with these video game type synths. Ronnie J starts out with a weak, weak verse. He says like 20 words in the space of eight bars. To top it off, Ski's bars are mostly cringy, if anything. It's a song that only runs for like a minute and 30 seconds, so it really does feel like a throwaway. I'd have to say 70% skippable. Song number four is called Coolest Monkey in the Jungle featuring Saw Baby. Here we have another haunting beat, but it's accented by a high violin sample, which is very nice. Adds a lot to the song to make it stand out from some of the other eerie haunted house type beats. Ski lays down an amazing hook. It's in reference to H&M running an ad with a hoodie that said coolest monkey in the jungle on a young black child. Lots of people were upset about that, but here he takes it and kind of weaponizes it, says to tell the white supremacist to lick his big toe. He's obviously got a sense of humor about it. Saw Baby comes in on this track with a lot of swagger, a lot of confidence, despite laying down some lines that are pretty immature, like I want to feel on her tiggity biggity. Ski Mask plays off of that well-delivered verse with a well-delivered verse of his own. Lots of funny and interesting punch lines. This is definitely my favorite song on this mixtape. I would have to say it's 20% skippable. Song number five is called Suicide Season. This one has more of a lo-fi hip-hop beat. You've got the record fuzz sound over the whole thing. It's a laid-back flow, it's a relaxed feel, and this is one of the few songs where Ski kind of lifts the curtain of sarcasm and joking around and actually says something kind of personal. Just for a moment we get a glimpse into the fact that he has suicidal tendencies and suicidal thoughts. And in order to fight this depression, 
he kind of takes his mind off it with his sexual exploits. It's definitely the most personal song we hear, and it gives a little bit more depth to the rest of the songs on the mixtape. I would say it's 40% skippable. Song number six is called Do I Have a Sauce? For some reason, this is the lead single off of this mixtape. The beat is nice, it's pretty decent. It does remind me of a cuckoo clock a little bit, which is somewhat annoying. But Ski lays down this hook that is very stuttering and really and really and really and really and really stops the energy from moving forward. There's a lot of uh-huh, uh-huh, and not very many actual lyrics. And that would be fine for some other rappers, but Ski Mask can be so lyrical and so interesting with the words he says that when he doesn't say anything, it's pretty disappointing. There really are some decent bars in this track, but they don't quite make up for the poor hook. The music video for this one is also pretty weird and somewhat disappointing. It's directed by Cole Bennett of Lyrical Lemonade. He always does something interesting, but I feel like for this song, they really phoned it in. There's just a lot of green screen and a lot of ski mask of Slump God in a bad Halloween costume. It's all very underwhelming. I would have to say this song is 55% skippable. Song number 7 is called Geekin featuring Danny Towers. It's got a lush beat with this relaxed guitar and it's all about how they're geekin. Which geekin is like when they're high and they can't stop laughing to themselves, they're geekin. Honestly the lyrics are pretty lame really really dumb and that's enough to make me not want to listen to the song again so i'd have to say that it's 60 percent skippable song number eight is called child's play obviously after the famous horror franchise it's a bass heavy savage beat and at key points you can hear this buzzing which sounds like they sampled a chainsaw maybe it's definitely horror movie inspired the thing about this song is that you only get one verse from Ski, and it's a solid verse, I really enjoy it, but it leaves me wanting a lot more. It's only got a runtime of a minute 37 seconds, so it seems like the beginning of a song, the start of a good idea for a song, but it doesn't quite finish what it sets out to do. So it's a song I enjoy, but I wish there was more to it. I'd have to say it's 35% skippable. Song number nine is called Dapper Dan, and here we're back to the dark, eerie beats, but it's another half song. Same with Child's Play, there's a good verse on there, a decent beat, a song that I would love to hear twice as much of. If they combined Child's Play and Dapper Dan and put them into one song, I would be happy with that. I would have to say Dapper Dan is 40% skip. Song number 10 is a word I don't know how to pronounce. I know what it means, but I don't know how to pronounce it and it features Rich the Kid. This song just has the most lazy lyrics of all time. They're just super lazy. And once again, that might be okay for some rappers, but Ski Mask really has some fun lyrics, some good punch lines, interesting ways of saying things. And so when he doesn't meet that expectation, it just hurts. If you don't believe me that the lyrics are lazy, I will put up on screen the lyrics that are just slat, 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 slat. I would have to say this one is 80% skippable. Adding everything up, mathematically speaking, this album as a whole is 47% skippable. This mixtape is full of good ideas, great flows, clever wordplay, and interesting beats. There's also almost as many lazy lyrics, unfinished ideas, and just weak features. Ski Mask is an artist with lots of promise. He could definitely keep on going up and up, but he could also go straight down. The potential for both great success and great failure is on this album, and he has to choose which way he wants to go. Alright, let's check for our music, see which album I'll be reviewing next. Alright, we're just going to go into our music library here, go to albums, and hit shuffle. Alright, looks like the next album I'll be reviewing is Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about Ski Mask, the Slump God, and Beware the Book of Eli. I'd love to hear your opinions. Also, let me know if there's an album you'd like me to review, and I will see what I can do. Check the links below for my Best of 2019 playlist, as well as my Best of 2020 playlist, which is growing by the day. I'm Trent Windsor, and this is The Perfect Shuffle. Never mind. Joke over. Joke canceled.